Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale, this time kind of recapping the three different decks of TMD Yao Yao. Now, we're going to start with my epic loss to Yao Yao. For those of you who don't know, he is the big overall champ and winner of the King's Cup tournament in LA now, which was a weekend or two ago by the time that you're watching this. What I wanted to do was pick out the three decks that he used, show the replays, and kind of delve into the strategy that made him so unbelievably powerful and dominant with these attacks. I call him the Clash Royale Cyborg because he's an absolute beast. So sit back, relax, and watch me get killed. So this guy actually only lost one match the entire day, so I don't feel so bad. I knew when I had him uh, as a, my first matchup in the entire tournament, I knew that I was really in for it. But anyway, let's go ahead and go over this match. Match. So I played the Ice Golem in the left lane, and I played the Tombstone on the river. I want to talk a little bit about why I made both of those decisions, because they're both a little bit unorthodox. So the Ice Golem. Sometimes I like to sneak in the two Elixir cost Ice Golem behind my King Tower in the opposite lane to start out a match, just to wait and see what my opponent is going to throw at me. I'll still use my normal Golem push in the opposite lane, but the problem here was that TMD Yao Yao was just ready for it, and he came at me with plenty of backup Elixir or troops behind his golem and I actually couldn't defend here. I actually lose a lot of hit points on my tower and this was really the story of the match. This little misplay on my part here. Again, what I like to do there, you can see he's BMing me this son of a jackal. So what I like to do is really just go ahead and send that ice golem opposite lane and use the graveyard at the very last second if I have the elixir to spare, meaning if I'm able to defend against the lane where they're coming at me with the big push. That was just not the case there. Now the reason I played the Tombstone, because a few people actually asked me about that, the reason I played the Tombstone way on the river towards the uh, towards the top of the map on my side there to start out with, is because I knew from the day's experience from actually casting that Mr. Cyborg here is a big fan of lightning, so I didn't want to give him that value, especially to start out the match with making my Tombstone right on my tower, as well as taking down my Mega Minion or whatever I was going to use to defend. So right off the bat made a big mistake. I was short to Elixir because I got a little aggressive with that Ice Golem idea. Why try to trick the best player in the entire tournament, Ash? I have no idea what I was thinking, but, uh, you know, in retrospect, to be honest with you guys, I think if I could do the whole thing over, I just would have went with an anti-meta deck. At least it would be fun to try something new. So in the future, if I'm ever put in one of these situations where I matched with the best player could be in the world right to start out with, I'm gonna go ahead and just play an anti-meta deck and just have some fun with it instead of rolling with a meta deck and just being like everybody else and just getting whooped. But anyway, enough of my gameplay. Let's move on to Colton versus TMD Yao Yao. Now Colton W83 is actually was actually the finalist and he's now streaming on Twitch. I will be sure to put that information in the description below where you can go check him out. I actually watched him for a couple hours last night and he is really 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 good. Did I mention that he was really, 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 really good. He's a really skilled player, and he has a real knack for describing things as they're happening. He's one of those rare players who can play and commentate at the same time. If he sticks with streaming, I'm going to predict he'll be one of the top streamers in Clash Royale in six months from now. You heard it here first. Anyway, back to his actual match. You can see Colton actually playing a giant deck. So this is interesting. A giant deck versus a golem deck. Two beatdown decks kind of going head to head. Now Colton's carrying the Barbarians, which has actually got him to the finals using this great defensive deck. He has lightning spell as well as you just saw, and he's not afraid to use his lightning both on offense and defense. So Colton, a very, very skilled player, uh, and Yao Yao just still was able to counter him pretty well. So Yao Yao's going to use his skeleton army. This is, by the way, the second deck of Yao Yao. What he has here is still the lightning spell, of course, but now he has the skeleton army and the musketeer as well. He has the minions as well. So what he's going to do here is just play defense to start out, kind of feel, put a feel out for Colton, see what he has in his deck. And by now, like two minutes into the deck, they've both gone through their cycles a few times. So trying to get into the head of both these players here, they both must be thinking, okay, time for a big tower push at this point. So 
what's going to happen here is these next two kind of rotations are going to be very important in this gameplay. Yao Yao drops a golem, so Colton counters with a giant a, a ice spirit and a mega minion of his own, but what a great musketeer log combination that was on Yao Yao's part. He was ready for it. He ends up taking down that giant, playing some minions of his own. Now, Colton is going to be able to defend pretty well here against this golem minion push here, and he's able to cycle back to his tombstone to switch lanes on that golem, drops a couple archers, and he's able to avoid any damage done to that tower that was being targeted previously by Yao Yao. The only problem here is Yao Yao at this point is way ahead in Elixir. So Colton, despite the odds here, is actually going to be able to defend here. He has the Barbarians, and he's going to go ahead and use his Lightning on the tower and on that Musketeer. He's going to use a Log to push back the, the Golem, buying him more time. There's a Mega Minion, there's Minions, there's a lot to deal with here, but he does a very skillful and timely placement on that Tombstone near the river, buying the Archers more time to kind of eat into that Golem HP, as well as the Tower taking down the Mega Minion. But again, it's just relentless here from Yao Yao. He has the Tombstone still pumping out those Skeletons, and this Golem is actually going to end up getting to the Tower, well, at least the Golemites, doing another few hundred HP damage to that right tower on Colton. And again, you can see Yao Yao not too aggressive in f as far as backing up that golem, especially when it was about to split. Some, you know, less experienced players may have been tempted to play another minion or musketeer behind the golem, but instead he reloads another, yet another tombstone on Yao Yao's part, and this push is going to be pretty big. He has a musketeer right in the center there, helping out against those barbarians. He has his lightning spell. He's sitting on eight elixir right now, so you can see he's gonna just barely get to the tower again, use his lightning on the giant and the archers, and then he's gonna be able to really counter, and this is gonna be the one that's going to really hurt on Colton. Now, this is a real epic overtime at this point, and you can see how good at defense both of these players are. Now, this time, finally, Yao Yao kinda gets the hint here. Okay, I'm gonna have to, there's too many defensive answers in this deck. I'm gonna have to play my golem a little bit back before now you will note in overtime Yao Yao was always playing the golem at the bridge now if you're playing your golem or your giant or your tank at the bridge in overtime and you keep running into a brick wall what do you do you take a second you kind of recompose yourself and you play your golem or your tank back more towards your tower that's going to buy you more time to back it up and then once your opponent is low in elixir then you can go ahead and do another bridge push afterwards and this is the bridge push that Yao Yao was looking for here. Here comes the log. Finally, the golem gets to the tower. There's still a mega minion and minions in tow, and that is going to be GG. I thought this one might end in a draw. That was some really good defense on Colton's part. So now let's watch the third and final deck of TMD Yao Yao. And this is another beatdown deck. However, it's an air deck, not a ground deck. This time, he's going to be going against the Royal Giant with the Lava Hound. Colton is is again a pleasure to watch here. TMD Yao Yao is going to show us just how to counter a Royal Giant deck, especially when you're playing an air deck or any sort of beatdown deck. He played the Tombstone directly on that Royal Giant right before the Royal Giant was about to enter in the range of that tower. And then on offense, he did a really great job of getting that uh, Lava Hound to that tower using a Lumberjack in tow. So interesting combination here on Yao Yao. He has the Lava Hound Lumberjack combination. You can see there, he's only played four cards, well, now five, thanks to that miner, going to do a little bit of chip damage in between, and uh, Colton already played seven of his eight cards at this point, so TMD Yao Yao, I'm going to assume he's going to be carrying the lightning spell again, and that's going to come in handy, especially against this furnace, basically any distracting unit on the opponent's side. It's going to be very interesting to see if either of these players add the tornado into decks like this, especially on defense, to move those big tanks to the opposite lane with a lane shift. There's the lightning we talked about. Here comes the Lava Hound. Here's the Mega Minion. Nice lightning on Colton's part, but these pups are going to do another little heap of damage onto that left tower. The left tower for Colton now, about half HP. Not looking too good. He can't be super excited about this start. He hasn't even gotten a chance to play another Royal Giant at this point because he's devoting too much elixir 
to defending against that Lava Hound combination, you have to be very, very careful. You do not want that Lumberjack to get to your tower, die, and then have the Hound pop. Those pups under Rage can just take down your tower straight up, take it down by themselves. So here comes a Royal Giant push for Colton, but he uses the Lightning Spell again. He, being the Cyborg, uses Lightning Spell, and the Rage obviously not going to benefit. The Baby Dragon not going to get a hit on, but Colton able to cycle all the way back to the Royal Giant again. And here comes the first go-to defense for Yao Yao. It's a Log, a Tombstone, and a Mega Minion. You can see how quickly uh, they take down that Royal Giant. Still able to do a little bit of damage to that tower was Colton, but still not quite enough because you can see here already Yao Yao has enough elixir saved up. Didn't over-defend against that Royal Giant. And here comes that Lava Hound again, backed up by that Baby Dragon. A lot of splash damage here. The Lightning Spell, unfortunately, not hitting that Baby Dragon. That will allow the Baby Dragon to make quick work of those guards there. The Lava Hound pops. The Miner is in, and the tower is going to be just ever so close to down. If that Baby Dragon had one more hit on it, it would probably fall. But there's going to be one last chance here for Colton, but all Yao Yao has to do is cycle back to that Lightning Spell, and we're already in overtime, and that's going to be GG on Yao Yao's part. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, kind of recapping the three decks of TMD Yao Yao. Guys, the event was a lot of fun. I just wanted to say thanks to everybody again who was cheering me on, rooting me on, on Twitter, YouTube, you name it, guys. You guys are absolutely the best. Thank you so much, and as always, take care, guys.